So I'm about to be back at it again with another unhinged conspiracy theory about Harry Potter because there is a plot hole in the Deathly Hollows that has always baffled me. And it takes place at the very end when all of the Death Eaters are gathered in the forest. Obviously, Voldemort sends Narcissa to go check on Harry's body. Narcissa checks him. She says, dead. That's obviously a lie. But then something happens that's always confused me and is never explained. Voldemort levitates Harry's body into the air and he tries the Cruciatus curse on him three different times. And each of those times, Harry waits for the pain, but he doesn't feel anything. And I've always considered at that moment, there is only one person in the forest that actually knows that Harry is alive. And so I've developed this kind of unhinged headcanon that Narcissa learned how to silently counteract the Cruciatus curse just in case Bellatrix or Voldemort ever use it against Draco. And in that moment in the forest, she was silently, quietly counteracting the curse to protect Harry and get back to the castle.